Welcome to Comfort Habit number two. I had to delete my first heart to heart video because someone, again, as the video got good, they came out and started talking. Just completely fucked up my vibe. So I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to make this video just a little bit shorter. I'm going to give you a rundown of everything that I deleted. And then I'm going to call it a night because I'm angry now. I'm sick of this. I'm so sick of this. And it sickens me that I have to go through this shit on a daily basis because my family is so enamorated with making sure that I fucking do what they want versus doing what I want. And it's bullshit and no one takes accountability for the shit. And they do the shit on purpose. I can't film in the house. I can't film outside. I can't film in the basement because somebody has to fucking do something unnecessary. I film at the same time every night. Every night because people are fucking asleep. And you would think that because it's nighttime, I would actually be able to accomplish one fucking video without an interruption, without a delete, without a pause, without having to stop every time and tell someone, I know you see those goddamn lights. I apologize for this rant at the first part of this video. Now, I was thinking about having a Native American name and billing myself as a Native American instead of billing myself as mixed because for 21 years I've been in this business, I have gotten no work other than on films that I make myself, which the best thing I've ever done was stolen and sitting in the room at somebody's house in Alabama. Yay, because people just can't be honest. If you can't do something, say you can't do something. Do not lie into someone's face and say, yeah, I got you, when you know you can't. There's no harm in telling your friends the truth because they are your fucking friends. And if they are your real friends, they will understand the words no. It's not that difficult. So, let's quickly talk about why I deleted the video. And then let's quickly talk about what I deleted from the video. And then we're going to end this video. Okay? So, why I deleted the video? Because some asshole walks up and down the hallway all the time, seeing the fucking lights, and decide, hey, I'm just going to fuck this shit up, as they constantly do. Now, what I deleted. The reason why I was going to change my name and start going by EFG, Echo Fang Grey Wolf, because I need a stage name. And my stage name seems to flow off the tongue. Echo Fang Grey Wolf. Echo, E-C-K-O, Fang, F-A-N-G. Grey Wolf, G-R-E-Y-W-O-L-F. Now, that is also my TikTok handle of J.W. Grey Wolf because TikTok would not let me use my real name. So, I need to use a stage name because I'm going to need work. As a person of mixed ethnicity, has not been working for me. No. No one wants to give James Williams Jr. a job. Maybe, if they see Echo Fang Grey Wolf, they may give me a job. And they may decide, hey, you look more native than black, so let's make you play native. If that's what it takes for me to get work, I'll be the best damn native that you've seen. I am not full-blooded, and so I'm going to probably piss off a few Native Americans now. I am not going to ask you for permission. I am going to ask you for your blessing, and that's it. I honestly don't need your permission, but I would love to have your blessing because I need that. Because I've been in this business for 21 years and everyone has shot right by me. I have never been given a chance as James Williams Jr. Because um, no one wants to see a mixed guy if you're not Dwayne DeRock Johnson. Mad love to The Rock. I am not an Asian man. So I can't be Jose Wong. That's not going to work for me. I can't be a friend of mine whose name is Hector Lee. I can't be him because I'm not Chinese, all right? Now, Native Americans are biologically Asian, but I'm mixed. But I'm going to have to build myself out as a Native because being mixed has not worked in the 21 years I've been in this business. I'm 48 years old now. I started acting at 27. And my career has basically been a goose egg. I made an independent film called Path of Ascension. It is on Kung Fu Havoc number one. It is in three parts because at one time YouTube wouldn't let you play anything for more than 30 minutes so I had to break it into three parts. There are like three 30 minute parts. I made a spinoff, a series called Guardians of the Earth. My friend took 
the thing to go put special effects in it. He got mugged. My shit got stolen. It is sitting in somebody's house in Alabama. Every time I make this video, I leave my address on the video. 512 Rougemont, Charlottesville, Virginia. Nothing's coming in the mail. Nothing. I can never recreate that shit that got stolen. Ever. My feelings will always be hurt for that because all my friend had to do was say, James, I can't do it. Now, it might have cost me a lot of money to find someone who could to put the special effects in there. But it, it, it hurt me more because my friend could have just told me I can't do it. Here's the thing about friendship before I end this video. If we are really truly friends, I should be able to accept the fact that you don't want to do anything. I should be able to take that no with a smile on my face, not an angry smile like I'm always angry, but you know, I should be able to accept that and still be friends, hug that shit out and go about my day, which I was more than willing to do had my friend just told me that. If I would have known fucking 15 years ago when the film was pretty much done, because technically it was done like 11 years ago. Because it was done before I got into the army. When the army in 2010, it was done in 2009. And it was supposed to be posted by now. But, you know, it never got to me. The stuff that I have, I will. it will probably take a lifetime for me to try to go through and recreate the shit that I've done. And if I can find someone to do it for me, that would be great. I don't have any money right now, but if I can find somebody to do it for me by giving them the the CD that I have and tell them, here's that, here's the raw footage, can you recreate it? And if they can recreate it and do it better, then I'm good, and I can do that. You guys should have known who I am by now. You should have known who I am. But no. Even because someone's pride got in the way, instead of just telling me, look, dude, I can't do it. Are we still friends? Yeah, we're still friends. We're still friends still. But all he had to do was just tell me the truth, and this shit would have never happened. Because you can't really have a foreseen conclusion of the future, unless you're psychic. And I'm not psychic. But had he had done that, imagine where I would be right now if everybody in the films that I have created would have gotten to see everything that I wanted them to see. That didn't happen. That being said, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Before something else goes wrong, I'm going to end this video now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for blessing me with your time. And thank you for allowing me into your life. Thank you all to those who have found me from TikTok. To all those who have found me from Instagram. I know ain't none of y'all here from Facebook. But if there's one from Facebook, thank you. So to the 134 of you that's here on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And get used to me being called Echo Fangrave. I'm going to start practicing introducing myself here as that. So yes, I am still James Williams Jr. But my stage name is going to be Echo Fangrave Wolf from here on. So thanks for watching.